Hey guys, Chris and PJ here live in the Dream Giveaway Hello, Garage. Christopher, we've got the lights up of you today and everything's all ready to go. Yeah, that's because in seven days, we're going to close the entry banks for that 1969 Charger 500. One of the best classic Mopars in Dream Giveaway history. What makes it the best, Chris? Well, first, I'd like to talk about some of the classic Mopars that we've given away over the years, right? So we did a Plum Crazy. That was the first Mopar giveaway, and we did that with the Plum Crazy, or that's pre Hellcat, and that was a great that was a great car. And then we did the the Hellcat X, and the classic car that went with the Hellcat X was the uh, 440, 375 horse, four speed, black Challenger. Anybody remember that one? Ra raise your hand if you do. And the reason that uh, when I saw that one today, I said, that's the same engine that's in the Charger 500 that we're giving away now. And then we had another Challenger that had a Hemi engine in it, a, a red one, right? And then any other classic Mopars that, that I'm missing? I think that's it. Yep. A purple one, a black one, a red one. And now we're on, a, oh, of course, the Super B. How could I forget the Super B, PJ? That's right. Yeah. So here. Uh, seven days left to win this, the same engine that was in that great Challenger that we gave away with the Hellcat X back in, oh, 2015? And now it's 2023, and you've got seven days left to enter the win. That's the Charger 500, right countdown clock right there. So I, I've been getting questions about Don Garlitz. So Don here with our Charger 500. They made 392 of them. Don with his Hemi Charger 500 back in the day. Not the same car. Remember, ours is a 440. But the reason that we're showing that to you is that Don Garlitz knows Dodge, right? <laughs> and Dodge sent him a Charger 500. Oh, that's right. You're looking and, at the front end, right? Right. Look at the front end. It's the same front end, guys. We didn't modify the front end. Front end, the wheels are the same. The, uh, the vent windows are the same. The, the, uh, there in the back. And That's the, the same. The photo is the same. And the gentleman in the photo are the, are the same. I wonder if he's if those are the same jeans <laughs> that he's wearing, PJ. That's fine. And the same shoes. I know the T-shirt is different. Now those are fresh jeans so that Don has. Very rare Charger 500, right? <laughs> very rare. One of 392. But Don Garlitz uh, got one right from the Dodge Corporation back in '69 because Don was already a world champion. So seven days left for you guys to enter the win. We've put it right here on stage, eh? Because this is where you're going to be. This is where you're going to get the keys if you're the winner. Right, PJ? Just pan out a little bit so you can see the entire There you go. Stage. And look at that. Here's what's cool. And I hope Lexi is watching this. Look at where Dodge was in 1969. And look where Dodge is in 2023. By the way, did anybody watch the Demon reveal last night? That Demon 170, the world's fastest production Mopar, or streetcar, any manufacturer, 8.9 seconds in the quarter mile. Can you believe that? You can walk into a Dodge dealership, you better have a blank check, and you can get a Demon 170, 8.9 second quarter mile time. Did it say that 0 to 60 was 1.66 seconds? Can you believe that? They would just throw your Under two right seconds. Off. They would throw your glasses right off. So then all of a sudden... And it launches at two Gs. Not this one, though. No. No. Uh, horsepower on the uh, new Demon 170 is 1,025. 1,025 stock. Stock. Over 1,000 horsepower stock from an American car manufacturer. Amazing. We live in an amazing time, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? So what's the horsepower of this when you're talking about? 375. <laughs> that was big back in the day, right? Yeah. And there you go. And remember, we talked about tri-powers yesterday. NASCAR outlawed tri-powers. They were running them very, very early. NASCAR uh, said that to race in their series, you had to have a four-barrel. There you go. Uh, PJ. Uh, we're going to play a game today. I have a quick question, though. Or oh. Somebody has a quick question here. Um, it kind of like leads into what we're doing. Mike Brown, who says, so many great cars, it's hard to pick a favorite. We're going to do that right now. Mike Brown, how did you know that's oh, what we're going to do? The Firebird. So, All right, so I, we put together this little battle here. This is a bracket thing, so I'm going to show you how to do it. In the description, there is a link. 
and you can click on that link. That is a good link. It'll bring you to bracketvoting.com. And then we're going to see which of the cars wins as your favorite. I'm going to do it myself. And then you guys do it whatever the cars you want to pick. So these are brackets. Is it one or two? Is it one or two? Is it one or two? All right, so, the first so now I have to... Okay, so in celebration of Dodge announcing the Demon 170 yesterday, we're going to go all the way back to the first Demon in 1971. And we have that, like, right over it's there. It's right over there. Yeah, right over, right there. over there. I'm going to pick the Demon over the Chevelle. Okay, wait a minute. You would pick the Demon, the 1971 Demon, over the 72 big block Super Sport. This is in celebration of Dodge <laughs> breaking all of the rules with a 1,025 horsepower Demon 170, which they could not have done if not for the original Demon 340 in 1971. Okay, so to pay homage, Chris is picking To pay it. homage, I'm picking the Demon 340. Okay, now I've got to go down to the next one, right? Yeah. So here, we've got... Oh, the this is a tough Camaro one. Versus the 67 Olds. Oh, Chris. This is, this this is, is really... This is a brutal test for me. Because I, I know how do, much you really do love that old... That old and old that's where I'm going for it. <laughs> that's why. That but, but here's why. I can find another 70 Camaro Z28 sometime in my life. I will not find another one like this. This car is that special. All right. Okay. All right. Let's keep okay. going. It's going to get tougher. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this one here, we've got the 64 Corvette Stingray, which is just yeah. really beautiful. And the 57 Chevy Bel Air Resto Mod. Chris, this is like driving a brand new car. It really is. This really is. And the 64 Fueli Corvette Stingray is not like driving a new car. But because it was sold new in sunny Southern California, which is oh so dear to my heart, I'm going to go with the Corvette over right, the Bel Air. Picking the Corvette okay. over the Bel Air. Now... All right, let's see what we got here in our final bracket. This is really, really, really tough because this 427 powered Nova, I, I love cars that look unassuming on the outside and got something hidden under the hood. Yeah, and I know you guys do too. But because the Charger 500 ends in seven days, I'm going to pick the Charger 500. Next week, I'll pick the Nova. Uh, so there, <laughs> there we go on that. Now what do I do, PJ? All right, so now we're going to scroll up the top and then move to the right a little bit. Oh, here. now, oh, now I got round two. Now round two. Now we're only down to four vehicles left, Chris. And now oh. it gets tougher and tougher. So you've got the Demon, as we just talked about earlier, versus the 442. Oh, Chris, uh, this is a tough call for you again. This is a tough call for me. And, and here's why, because... What Dodge did yesterday with the, the Demon 170, no one will, will ever beat what they did yesterday. Oh, no, it's the end of the gasoline era. Dodge is going out with, with the best that they can do. And so I've got that or a, or a GM engineering <laughs> original owner. <sighs> what would you pick? Factory NHRA racer. Oh, this is really, really tough. You guys need to help me on this. Which one should I do? Which one should I do, guys? Hopefully they get the link and they can kind of play along. As yeah, well. you guys can play along and do it as well. I'm, I'm kind of up in the air on this one, PJ. Do I do the Demon 340 or do I do the Olds 442 W30? Oh. Either one you pick is going to be okay. I like the Olds. All right, so we're going to go with the Olds. Okay. All right, so here we go. And, and then... Charger 500 or Corvette Stingray? I'm doing the Charger 500. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now that you've done that. Oh, no. Now it gets even, two. now it even gets harder. Okay, so the 442 W30 or the Charger 500. Well, you know what? Big Daddy Don Garlitz sure knows his stuff. And if he drove one of these in 1969, and if he inspected ours that we're giving away, and he gave, he gave it a big thumbs up. And we're giving I'm, away ours in seven days. I'm going to go for the Charger 500. All right. We got <laughs> a winner. Ever. Okay, the Charger 500. You guys can uh, play this uh, bracket racing game with the Dream Giveaway Classic Cars as often as you'd like. That's right. And, Every uh, time you do a refresh, it'll give you a brand new set. Yeah. So you uh, might want to do it a few times to find out which one you're more likely to kind of go after. That's a whole lot of fun. Let's show the trunk. We don't show the trunk too often, PJ. Frank says, Charger 500 all the way to my garage. Aha! There you go. Hold on. 
By the way, I love these Dodge seats. They're so retro. Well, the, the one, the first thing that you can yeah. see when you, because of the contrast in color. Right. You see this unbelievable color. And then you see this pop of white. Chris, you're opening up the trunk. All right, there's not much trunk. We hardly ever do it. Here's why. Because the RT has a much bigger trunk, but it was an aerodynamic. So for the Charger 500, they, they almost cut the trunk in half, right? No, so look at, it's pretty deep in there. You can't really see. Well, it is, but as far as the egress, right? right. Is that the correct word? Yeah, because you okay. can go way back there. Yeah. And look how clean it is. That, that is super duper nice. Yes, this is incredibly clean. Yeah, and so and what, clean. Yeah, what's different on the Charger 500? I think the hinges are actually different on it. These hinges uh, the deck, different. yeah, the deck lid is different. What do they got here, Chris? <laughs> Jack instructions. Jack instructions. Hey, Jack, you still in there? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yes, definitely a shorter kind of egress. Yeah, and you guys know where the, the second generation charger, oh, now Roger's going to say I can't open a fuel cap. Here we go. <laughs> so they go from, what, behind the, the license plate? Right, so here, uh, that's nice there on this generation one as well. You know, it would have been nice if they had put a 500 here as well. Because it's not a Charger, it is a Charger 500. Now the 500, 500. is in this? Well, you got the 500 here. right here, there you go. But was this the same call out back then? What do you mean, PJ? The 500 right there on those? Well, yeah, that's where it was back in the day. And they probably just use the Charger RT emblem that, you know, the same one that they had in the parts bin on this. Frank says the old polygraph glass tire. Uh, well, this is not a polyglass tire. It, it looks like one, but this is a radio red line. Even the spare? Oh, the spare. That is a, that is a bias. Look at that, guys. That is a bias ply hiding down there. Yep. I wonder if that could be the original tire. How do you get your entry? Someone needs to ask me. With seven days left, I'm going to tell you. Go to dreamgiveaway.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, use promo code YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, use promo code Facebook Live. Get those bonus tickets because the keys, the title that's hiding, hiding over in PJ's office, we're going to, on this very stage, we're going to hand them to one lucky person and we want it to be you. We want it to be you, and we want it to be you. Well, Floyd says, I've entered many of the giveaways and yeah. be thrilled with any of them, but the pair of Corvettes is always my top choice. Oh, yeah. Old and new together. That's right. Yeah. That's a good one, Floyd. All right, guys, I'm going to shut the deck lid. Oh, you, you know what you didn't show here? Look, there's a... Look at that, Chris. Huh. So is that a... Is that a notification thing that says your trunk is open from the front? I didn't see a lamp there, so I've got to look at that and see what that is. I'm going to put the keys right back there for you John, guys. John wants me to give you anybody a sneak peek of something here. I don't know if we've got anything in the garage, this side of the garage, that would give us uh, a sneak peek. Not yet. Give us a week. We'll have a sneak peek. But uh, I did have an earlier request. For what, PJ? Uh, to see the um, Supra. Ah. Super is way over there by the Camaros, and that's where our Wi-Fi goes bad, so we'll show you the Super on another day. That's right. We'll get it closer. We'll get yeah, today it's all about the Charger. And seven, and seven days left. That's right, PJ, seven days left to enter to win. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. More great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes, and it's all fun and games until someone wins a Charger. <laughs> no, that's not the saying. <laughs> We're, play that bracket racing game because that's a whole lot of fun. And uh, we hope that you guys uh, enjoy getting your entries to win this Charger 500. And I hope, I'm going to talk to Don Garlitz. I'm going to see if he can join us here for the awards ceremony. So stay tuned on that. See you tomorrow. More great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes in our favorite place on earth, the dream.